What's up Ravens and welcome to this week's edition of ONW Now. Today is Friday the 13th, so we wish you all the best of luck. We are back with everything current and important here at ONW. I'm Cameron Keatsman alongside Caitlin Larson. Much Ado About Nothing is ONW's final production of the year. The tale deals with the very contemporary issues of the damage that gossip and envy can do to relationships. The play is on Friday and Saturday, April 13th and 14th. The show starts at 7 p.m. and the tickets are $5 at the door. Our own Kenya Fergoso has more. This drama is one of the greatest comedy plays by William Shakespeare. The play revolves around two pairs of lovers, Beatrice and Benedict, and Claudio and Hero. My name is Wyatt McCall, and I play Benedict in Much Ado About Nothing. Uh, Benedict is a very outspoken, kind of loudmouth guy who is very set on not marrying anyone. He does, he's totally against marriage and against women in general. My name is Junior Stockdale, and I'm playing Leonardo in Much Ado About Nothing. The play takes place in Italy, and Leonardo, my character, is the governor of Messina. And the play takes place in my house, where my two daughters are going to be wed. Benedict thinks he hates Beatrice, but really loves her, and Beatrice, who thinks she hates Benedict, but really loves him. Hi, my name is Kat Almondson, and I am playing Beatrice in Much Ado About Nothing. Beatrice is really feisty and sassy, and um, she's really smart, and she likes to tell everybody that she's really smart. The main plot of the play revolves around obstacles to the union of the two young lovers, Claudio and Hero. My name is Ty Carter, and I'm playing Claudio in Much Ado About Nothing. My character is really, uh, really stupid. He's really young, really immature, and he's quick to believe. He's really gullible. Okay, my name is Faith Coker, and I am playing Hero in Much Ado About Nothing. I like challenging myself with different parts and things that I've never done before. Theater has been a very important part of their lives. Not only are they doing something they love, but something has brought each and one of them new experiences and friends. Like the amount of friends that you make, uh, it's, it's really fun to be around this, a group of people who enjoy doing what you're doing and uh, who kind of, you know, live for acting and and uh, conveying characters, so that's, that's always fun. For one, I enjoy the ability to just take on an entirely new role and have fun with that. And then I also like the ability to make new friends because I've made a whole new set of friends when I started doing the show. And getting to interact with people who are doing the same thing and just going over the play and having a lot of fun with it and messing around off stage. It's a good time. But you should come see the show because you probably haven't seen very many shows at Northwest and this one is really good. So if you are going to go see a show at Northwest, see this one. Come support your ONW Theater on April 13th and 14th at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. Tickets are $5 at the door. For the Raven Daily, this has been Kenya Fragoso. Fellow seniors, it's all coming to an end very quickly as we are almost approaching our one month left mark. Please keep in mind these important dates. Next Friday, we do not have school. Wednesday the 25th is the Senior Signing Assembly. Prom is on the 28th. Senior Awards are on May 7th. The Senior Picnic is on Friday, May 11th. Our finals and last day of high school classes ever are on the 16th and 17th of May. Senior Breakfast, Recognition, and Practice for Graduation is on the following day at the 19th. And Graduation is on Sunday, May 20th. Hang in there, guys. It is truly almost over. NHS members, don't forget to bring your permission form for the chapter project to Mrs. Pickerel in the library by today. Any seniors who are interested in giving a speech at graduation can sign up to audition in student services. Auditions are next week. It's been a while since we caught up with orchestra. Haley Pitcairn has some information for us on their upcoming events. The orchestra has been practicing very hard lately for their upcoming festivals and concerts. Orchestra conductor Mr. Joel Martin is sending his students to compete in their first ever large group music festival at Blue Valley West on April 18th. Those who receive a 1 rating will continue on to state on April 28th in Emporia. For the Raven Daily, this has been Haley Pitcairn. Seniors, if you have a sibling in kindergarten this year, they could be eligible to participate in the Senior Recognition Program. Please see Mrs. Fitzsimmons in the front office. On Tuesday night this past week, a group called Time Flies Tuesday was in Lawrence. Our very own Blake, Connor, Tanner, and Michael have a preview of their upcoming documentary. I love this. Time flies.
Yeah, I don't know uh, if there was ever a time where I was, you know, really upset about the future of Time Flies or thought that, you know, things could get bad or whatever. I mean, obviously, there were a few months where I was eating chicken nuggets because we didn't have enough money to, <laughs> to buy, like, real groceries and stuff. But, uh, you know, not really. Uh, I think I've always been pretty confident that, you know, Cal has a really unique uh, voice and freestyling ability and that, you know, together we could do something great. Any of you seniors who want to audition for Senior Recognition Day needs to sign up outside Miss Murphy's Drama Room. They are looking for dancers, singers, musicians, and any other talent. Thespians, don't forget that your final meeting of the year is on Monday. This is your last chance to update your point sheet for the year. You need to be at this meeting. Information on this summer's Driver's Ed program is available in the office. Make sure to apply by April 17th. The ONW Writing Club, The Feathered Quills, is calling for submissions for its first ever lit journal. Details and forms are available in the library. Our own Brenda Bloom has a commercial for us. Ever dreamed of writing a story? Ever wondered if you'd get published? Well, today is your lucky day. The Olathe Northwest Writing Club is creating its first ever lit journal, showcasing student work. You can submit poetry, prose, short essays, photography, and art. Right. There are submission forms in the library along with official rules. The deadline is April 19th, so turn in your works in the library. Forensics is looking for new members to join. Let's take it to Nate Crosser for more. This year at Olathe Northwest, the Forensic Squad has achieved monumental success with 20 state qualifiers, the most in ONW history. This is our largest forensics program, and it's the year that we've had the most national qualifiers and the year that we've had the most state qualifiers. So not only is our program growing by leaps and bounds, but the quality of our program is increasing steadily along with our population. You know, I'm always proud of the kids who compete in debate and forensics, and this year is no exception. But uh, we have an extraordinarily group of talented kids this year, and I, I just couldn't be more proud of them. They're fantastic. This is a lot like track and field. There are 14 different events, and all the events look different from each other. So there's no way to prepare everyone as a group. It's a matter of working individually with each student or each pair of students to make sure that they bring their best game to the tournament. You know, state is such a big and wonderful event, and it's being held here at Olathe Northwest, but the truth is, is that it can be a random mix of the best students from across the state. So rather than focusing on winning the state championship, your best bet to prepare for state is to focus on your personal best and making sure you walk away saying that those were the three or four or five best performances you've ever given. You know, we're always looking for new forensics members and new talent, so if you like public speaking or theater or acting or thinking or critical thinking or organization or writing, we'd love to have you come out for the squad, uh, either forensics or debate. Come see me. On Friday, May 4th, the second annual Spring Festival will be hosted. They need help from you students who are interested. Students are needed to serve as spotters during the 5K and one mile run. If you are interested in running, the deadline is today to sign up. For the first time in ONW history, a male student has made the drill team for the 2012-2013 school year. Our own Caitlin Larson has more. Last week, Olathe Northwest held tryouts for next year's dance team. In addition to several returning dancers, we have some new faces too. One newcomer in particular that stands out is Aston McAfee, a freshman here at ONW. Aston is the first boy ever at ONW to not only try out, but to make the team. He was the first one to show any interest and um, asked if it was allowed, and I said absolutely. Like some of my friends on drill team wanted me to try out, so I decided to try out. Being the first and only boy on the dance team can be very exciting, but can also be a little intimidating. Even though I'm the only boy, I'm going to work hard and try my best and do my best and practice hard and focus. Luckily, Aston has great support from friends and family. My friend Callie, she called me and she was like, you made the team. And I was like really excited and then I called like everyone and I told them and they were like, yay. And my phone was like buzzing all day. And it doesn't stop there. Dancing isn't the only thing Aston is great at. He's involved in several activities here at ONW and is a very well-rounded student. I am involved in orchestra, theater, track, forensics. Another thing that makes having a boy on the dance team so exciting is that there are new possibilities for choreography. I'm really excited actually because um, I'll be able to utilize him and do some lifts and some partnering work. I'll have to alter a little bit of the choreography, but for the most part, he'll fit right in. All this excitement hasn't gone to his head either. He's very grateful to have been given such a wonderful opportunity. Thank you, Shannon, for letting me be on your team, and thank you to all of my teammates. This is going to be a great year. Be sure to go to the spring show coming up in April to cheer on Aston and the rest of the drill team. Congratulations to all who made it. We're proud to have such great Ravens representing our school. 
Come support your Lady Ravens O&W soccer team next Friday to help raise money for breast cancer. The event is a pink out. The tailgate starts at 4 p.m., the JV game starts at 5 p.m., and the varsity game starts at 7 p.m. It's only $8 for a pink t-shirt, a hamburger, chips, and a drink. T-shirts will be sold next week during lunch. Don't forget that the latest stories and updates are on our website, The Raven Daily, at www.onwravens.net slash ravendaily. Well, that about wraps it up for today. We will leave you with a look for this year's winners for Mr. Raven. For Caitlin Larson, I'm Cameron Keatsman. <laughs>